this is Mahesh Ravi. So in this video, we'll be talking about how to create this image using a phone and this app. So I'm going to go to uh, Pixart. This is a really awesome app um, that you can use in your phone while you're traveling to make um, graphic design work. Um, a little bit of photo a composition, image manipulation, image editing, and it's it's an all-in-one package, which is a decent deal. So um, you can use the free version, and also you can buy um, the paid version. I'm going to show you a very simple way to create a collage straight out from Pixart by using um, royalty-free stock images. So let's get started. Right. So we're going to go with a plain background right now. So I'm going to create a color background. I'm going to choose the crop tool right here so when you choose that it will show you a lot of options in here uh, how do you want to crop it basically so I'm gonna go with a 16 by 9 uh, resolution and you click apply and it will be cropped into that resolution now I'm gonna add a picture so I'm gonna go to add photo and search for maybe forest and it's gonna show you a couple of images with uh, a forest in it okay so we're gonna use this image so we have a background image right now set. So we need to add um, our secondary image into it. So what I'm going to do is, let's go to sticker options right here. And you search for what is the image that you want. So I'm actually looking for the triceratop. Just click on that. So it'll show up a lot of triceratop images. And this is the one that I want to use. So this is a pretty interesting image uh, because it comes with a shadow, right? And it's a transparent PNG so it's pretty easy to use this footage in here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just position him in the way that I want so maybe a little smaller and I'm gonna put him right here so this seems about right I need to do some sort of adjustment here so I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna just change the brightness value a little bit I'm gonna bring it down so that it matches with the background because basically the light is coming from the back so there won't be much light in the front so I'm just reducing that a bit and um, I can also bring down the contrast a little bit because this is a real photograph and that's a 3D image so if the contrast is too much it's going to look slightly fake right so we have it right now and uh, another thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to just zoom it so you can finger uh, swipe it to pinch zoom and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the eraser tool right here and erase the tail so I want to say that this actually goes you know uh, behind the tree right that's the effect that I want to do so I've done that as well so that is looking pretty good right so this is you know looking pretty good to add a little amount a bit more realism into it we need to add a foreground object a foreground object which will be in front of this um, shape right this dinosaur so I'm gonna go back again to um, triceratops and I'm gonna search for maybe a bush right that we can add in front of it so we're gonna get a lot of options um, and we will try and see what to use there so let's see I think this is going to work so I'm going to select one from there and place it somewhere like that the brightness of this is slightly high so we can uh, reduce it so that it matches with the shade in here so just go to adjust bring down uh, the brightness so that it matches right sort of matches there and you can sort of bring the saturation a little more because it is slightly yeah so this is in the shadow so you can bring down the shadow also a little bit so we can yeah. yeah this looks pretty good right now so again I can add a lens flare so you if you go to lens flare you can see a lot of lens flare options out here so we need to take a realistic flare so I'm gonna go with this one right now and I'm gonna move it uh, somewhere near to the source and I'm going to change the light direction so it is sort of hitting there and it's coming there but this is too bright right now so what you can do is you can go to opacity and reduce the opacity of that light and we might be able to uh, scale this down right and we can move it around so here again we're going to position it where the light is coming from so this could be a pretty good angle right where the light is sort of coming and it adds a little bit of realism there right so click apply and that's there so we can see uh, the light 
sort of bleeding and bouncing uh, of the track right so we have all this let's do some um, blanket uh, color correction so now we have merged all of this so if you apply any sort of corrections right now so if you go to um, let's say effects and you apply any sort of effects into it it's going to apply it's, it's going to affect every element in the scene making it a little more realistic so we can take any of this effects into it so we can click on it and it will immediately create the effect you can double tap on this and maybe reduce the strength of it so it will look sort of uh, more realistic and it will go with the whole scene so that's basically it so you can now save it uh, and you can use it on your project so this is a very simple tutorial just to make sure that you understand how to uh, and what is the potential of pixel right you can do a lot of things with it and this is just an intro to that app right hope you have enjoyed this and uh, i'll see you soon with a new video